morning friends welcome to pre market update friends what we saw on uh, monday uh, monday close markets ended on a flat note uh, uh, amid a lack of investor in, uh, in, uh, in interest uh, however what we saw the it stocks uh, were in action uh, on positive side that led to some support to the sensex as a result sensex ended up around 21 points while nifty ended up 11 points uh, um, moving on to the ma uh, broader market uh, indices update broader market indices the bsc mid cap index lost around 0.2 percent while uh, small cap index was outperforming with gains of 0.2 percent uh, market breadth was positive with 1702 gainers and uh, around 1104 losers metal stocks were in action uh, amid reports that uh, there might be some revival in chinese demand as a result the uh, nsc metal index surged to 52 week high and uh, touched an intraday high of 2722 levels However, uh, it, uh, compared to its previous high of 2685 levels, uh, uh, we saw act uh, action in metal stocks like National Aluminium, Vedanta, JSW Steel, Sale and Hindalco were up in the vicinity of 1 to 6 percent. Uh, top gainers in Sensex uh, on Monday were uh, Tata Steel, Asian Paint, Sipla, Infosys and Lupin. We were positively supporting the market and companies which were dragging the Sensex were SBI, HDFC, Adani Ports, Reliance, Bharti Airtel and NTPC. Uh, moving on to global indices update, uh, the Dow, S&P and uh, Nasdaq, all uh, three indexes were marginally uh, marginally up while Nasdaq was little bit down 0.15%, uh, Nikkei at this point in time is trading 0.46% down, Hang Seng is trading down sharply with losses of 1% while Shanghai is trading almost flat at this point in time. Uh, SGX at this point in time is trading uh, 28 points down, suggesting we also might open on a slightly negative note. Um, now moving on provisional numbers, uh, FIS were sellers to the tune of 547 crore in gas segment while DIS were buyers to the tune of 468 crores. Now friends, let's move on to derivative update. Good morning friends, we'll give analysis on derivatives. On Monday's trading session, taking excuse from the international markets, our market did open on a positive note and thereon it consolidated in a narrow range of around 20-30 odd points throughout the day uh, but it was in the last uh, one hour of trading session we have seen some kind of a selling pressure in nifty but eventually it did manage to close on a positive note uh, closing at with a gain of around 0.20 percentage settling at 8739.95 now on the open interest terms uh, 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 minor shred, uh, minor reduction in the open interest was seen of around 0.13 percentage the absolute term 30,000 shares were shattered in the open interest while uh, cost of carry uh, decre uh, increased for, uh, a bit from 5.5 odd percentage to 7 odd percentage. I will consider majority of the unwinding which was seen in uh, Monday's trading session was due to short covering while uh, put call ratio was unchanged at 0.96 levels and volatility index was also, uh, uh, also decreased a bit from 14.49 to 14.29 odd levels on Monday's trade. On the option side, we did show some kind of an addition in the open interest on the call side. 8,900 call option have seen an addition of around 14 odd percentage. While uh, uh, on the put side, uh, the, there was not much of activity. However, we have seen very minor addition in the open interest from 8,500 to 8,700. In a in, in a single digit, uh, in, in a single digit, we have seen an addition in the open interest. While on the uh, call side, uh, 8,900, 9,000 call option have seen an uh, addition into it. Uh, which signifies that 8,800 above 8,800 is a very crucial resistance for the market and going and reaching above it's very, uh, is very much difficult for the market while uh, on the put side uh, 8,500 uh, 8, put option is now the highest in terms of open interest the position have now got shift from 8,600 to 8,500 and call side 9,000 call option remains as the highest in terms of open interest. Uh, other securities in the band period for today's trade are uh, India Bull Real Estate, Jindal Steel, NTV 18 Broadcast. On the FIS terms, the index features they were net sellers by 152 odd crores. Index options, they were net sellers by 185 odd crores. Stock futures also, they were net sellers by 309 odd crores. And stock options, net sellers by 758 crores only. On the market level of IDS, we have signs at 8755 with a low range of our VWAP at 8600. Uh, and higher range at 8755. SX Nifty is trading negative, it's down by 65 odd points and scoting anywhere around 8675, indicating some kind of a negative opening can be expected or gap down opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now, friends, let's discuss trading ideas for the day. First trading idea for the day, Dr. Reddy's lab at price of 3079. Dr. Reddy's has announced launch of Lamit program tablets in US. It is a generic version of Lamitel. 
market size for this drug is estimated to be 65 million dollars. So this is a positive development for Dr. Reddy's. Action to be taken is long. Dr. Reddy's stop loss is placed at 3017. We'll be targeting levels of 3171 and 3233. Now next idea for the day is KEC International at current market price of 125. KEC International bags order worth 1192 crore. This is positive development for KEC and continues to uh, on a regular frequency continues to bag order. Uh, action to be taken is long. KEC International. Uh, stop loss is placed at 120 and we will be targeting levels of 132 and 138. Now friends, moving on to news update front. CIPLA's indoor facility gets US FDA uh, clearance. Uh, Gale, uh, government approves 5180 uh, 5, crores of uh, JHB DPL pipeline project. Require India to consider allotment of 1.09 crore shares at a price of 1024 to energy group. Uh, Queensland government invokes special powers to speed up Adani's Carmichael project. ABB, to, uh, look, uh, ABB looks to make India export of for power and automation technology. Titan launches pilot for special occasion ethnic wear for women's category may set up a few stores under pilot project basis. Uh, Grasham shareholders approve increase in RFPI and FI investment limit from current levels of 24% to 30%. Uh, Bajaj Electrical will shut down bulbs and tube light manufacturing unit at Koshi in Uttar Pradesh from this week. August IIP came at minus 0.17% against CNBC poll expectation of 0.77%. Z2 by 49% stake in Reliance broadcast for and consideration of 1872 crore. It also has an option to acquire remaining 51% stake. Sagar Semi to consider proposal for setting up coal based power plant in Mathanpalli. Uh, Snyder Electric plans to invest around 100 million. Uh, Euro in next five years. Pinamal Enterprise to buy five Jenison drugs for a concentration of 1164 crore. Indian oil to lay largest pipeline of, of LPG pipeline from Gujarat coast to Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh. Keras uh, downgraded uh, Ruchi Soya's banking facilities. LNT uh, update on LNT. KKR is looking to pick up a stake in LNT walls. Capri Global to raise around 800 crore for lending for uh, medium and small enterprises limited. Uh, Fortune Financial may be among top three players to get ARC license. Our Repco Home Finance says CEBI filed case against some officers. GMK pledges 25 lakh shares of Prakash industry with money wise. Ashok Leyland to set up units in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Uh, Sun Pharma recalls around 31,762 bottles of drugs sold in US. Uh, new drug tariff regulation could lead to content cost rationalization. This development is positive for companies like Hatway and City Cable. Now friends, moving on to result update front, Indus in announced its numbers yesterday, PAT grew 26% YNY basis and NIA jumped smartly 30, 33% and gross NPA came at 0.9%. Uh, Grow Finance also announced its numbers, uh, its profit jumped 20% on YNY basis, uh, NIA was up 78% and gross NPA stood marginally at up at 0.62 versus, last, uh, last, uh, versus previous quarter's figure of 0.56%. Uh, Blue Dart also announced its numbers. Uh, PAT was down uh, 21%, sales was just up marginally and EBITDA also was lower at 11.3% versus last year's figure of 14.1%. So uh, weak set of numbers for Blue Dart. Now friends moving on to uh, stocks with positive and negative bias. Stocks with positive bias are DLF at 155, ITC at 241 and Indalgo at 162. Stocks with negative bias are uh, Access Bank at 534 and LND at 1457. Stocks for investment, uh, uh, Suvin Life at 202, Vajaj Holding at 2006, Britannia at 3376, Triveni Turbine at 123 and HDFC Bank at 1284. Friends, that's all from Advisory Desk. Have a wonderful day ahead.